Well, and Pablo, pretty excited to have the President of the United States visit, highlighting their community. News 5's Devin Karp is live with reaction as we continue our team coverage from Pueblo. Devin? Yeah, Rob, President Biden was originally scheduled to visit Pueblo in October. However, because of the Israel-Hamas war, he had to reschedule due to some security briefings. Now, as he spent his day in Pueblo, we spoke to some residents who say they're happy to see the home of heroes get some well-deserved attention. As Air Force One touched down at the Pueblo Memorial Airport this morning, Director of Aviation Greg Pedroza couldn't be more excited for the attention it's bringing to the small airport. There's a lot of people that worked hard behind the scenes, and again, we're just very proud to be a little bit a part of that. President Biden was joined by Senator Hickenlooper and Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar before they left in a motorcade heading towards the home of heroes. It's very heartwarming to see Pueblo get this kind of attention for an event like this. It's all important and it's great to be a little part of history, I guess. It's amazing, you know, we need it, the home of the heroes, right? So yeah, I definitely think that we deserve it. In downtown Pueblo, we spoke with people who believe their city often gets ignored in the Centennial State. Pueblo is so underlooked. It's not actually like, it's not Colorado Springs, not Loveland, it's not Fort Collins and, but, and it definitely needs a little attention. They say the president's visit could help boost Pueblo's image. I truly believe that Pueblo gets a bad rap. Uh, there's crime everywhere, not just in Pueblo, Colorado. Bernice Aguilar says this trip reminds her of the time former President Obama visited Colorado. And while she's encouraged by the attention the town is getting. Town oh, I think it's wonderful. She still wants it to stay true to the place she calls home. It draws people to the town and we can only get so big. Now this was President Biden's fifth visit to Colorado. He has not yet been to the Steel City. The last time he was here, he gave the commencement speech at the U.S. Air Force Academy graduation in May. For now, live in Pueblo, I'm Devin Karp, News 5. Devin, thank you. The CS Wind plant the president visited is in Representative Lauren Boebert's district. And the White House, before today's visit, while they're up in Denver, criticized Boebert, saying Republicans like her were threatening the administration's economic investments. In response to the president's visit, Boebert said in part, quote, instead of touting the poorly named Inflation Reduction Act that mandated Green New Deal policies that cost taxpayers hundreds of billions of dollars, Joe Biden should work with me to get my Pueblo Jobs Act signed into law that will create a thousand new jobs in Pueblo and help revitalize Southern Colorado's economy. It was a